Hello, YouTube viewers, and welcome back to Thoughtful Thursday. I am Movement Mike Nimchek, and today I just wanted to discuss with you a topic um, that's been kind of on my mind uh, as I'm listening to some podcasts, driving around, trying to get some errands done. And it's really, it's centered around ego. The kind of, at times, overpowering force or energy that we all possess. I mean, every one of us has ego, has an ego. How do you manage it? How do you keep it in balance like anything else in life? That seems to be the key to a happier, healthier existence is finding balance in um, an environment or in a world, right? In an existence where there is so much coming at us all the time. So there's we constantly have this like, you know, get this brand new thing, get this or that, this is the newer, better version. We're constantly being bombarded with that in every, di in every different aspect and angle in our lives, this exists. Maybe it's because of the capitalistic society, right? The freedom and the ability to create your own brand, to make something and then, you know, the whole world of advertising and marketing. So getting back to this whole thing we, we call ego, this underlying force of pride, uh, you know, in some cases, it, it may be a, a sense of entitlement almost. I see that as some of the more negative qualities of the ego. And you hear a lot of, so we can kind of all be on the same page and use the same language. The new age type of person uses ego to describe a negative quality that we all possess and how to control the ego. Well, you can't really, you try to control something, it, it, there's gonna be that opposite, I believe there's gonna be an opposing force. So if you try to control or strictly regulate something, there's gonna be that opposing force that says, no, I will do it the exact opposite of that just in spite, <laughs> which we can go full circle and say, well, that's part of the ego is going against that whole thing. Or just youth and rebellion. Take it as you will uh, and digest it. So I guess, is there a solution for this whole ego thing? No. What I can suggest and what I am personally working on is the ability to recognize when this ego is kind of rearing its seemingly ugly head. And the reason I am putting this in a negative light, and I guess I'd be siding with the new age people. I'm actually a pretty new age. If I take a step back and look at it from an objective standpoint, I'm pretty new age. <laughs> so how do you kind of bring balance into this? And the way that I view the ego is something that kind of pops up in, we'll start with the positive aspect of ego from my perspective, and, and that is that it gives us a, a sense of self-confidence, a, a sense of self-worth, and those are all positive aspects. Because in my belief, we all have a purpose. It's just some of us have yet to find that purpose. But once you find it, now you're on a mission. Now you have, a, now you have goals and a sense of purpose in life. And God, that has to be the most invigorating, best feeling, consistent feeling that you can have in this life is a sense of purpose and worth. Now where this can go into a negative or dark light or the negative portion of the ego is when you become this kind of boastful, I need this, I deserve this. I'm sorry, but none of us deserve anything. No, you can earn certain things by putting in the work and reaping the benefits, but to say that you deserve something is very egotistical. 
And then you can get into the whole really deep, deep part of what I consider to be the negative portion of ego, which is narcissism. Where it is all about me, 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 me. I, 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 I. Right? Everything revolves around me, the individual. That is where things really get twisted and where I feel like individuals truly get lost. One thing that I am trying to do personally as far as this whole ego thing is concerned is remember that we don't need the best and brightest thing. You can see in the background, I have my bike, right? And I've been told, because I'm trying to get it tuned up, because I'm going up to Asheville this weekend to go mountain biking and to visit some friends. And I've been told, you know, when bringing it in to get a tune-up for the second year in a row that I really need to consider um, replacing a lot of parts or just buying a whole new bike. Because of what I do on this bike, I'm kind of trashing it. So then the ego starts to rear its ugly little head. It's like, hmm, you should get the new bike. It'd be great, shiny new toy. It would be working perfectly. You deserve it. But I haven't earned it. To be completely honest, it's not something that I really should be buying right now. Can I? Of course, anybody can buy anything. But what kind of repercussions am I going to have to pay by getting a new bike? I'm gonna have to pay this thing off. I'm gonna have to find the money somewhere and right now I'm in a this kind of <laughs> floaty... I'm not really um, fully employed. There's a lot of things that I am trying to, uh, where I am working. I'm not just like sitting on my ass being a bum. I am working, but it's not, it's not the full-time gig that I was working towards before. Like I said, there's been a lot of changes. I don't want to go into detail because I don't want to um, target any single person. Again, this, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to regulate my ego, right? and build a community because we are all interconnected. None of us know anything more than the other. We just have, some of us have just remembered or some of us have just been exposed to more or something else or something different than others. This ego thing can be a tricky son of a gun. The best thing that I can recommend and that I'm doing is to take a deep breath in the nose, bring it deep down, almost like you're inflating a pocket behind the belly button or below the belly button, deep down into the base of your spine, right? Kind of the top of the butt crack area, the abdomen, area above the groin. Breathe deep into that space. Fill that space, that bubble, that balloon, whatever you want to call it. Inflate that with your breath into the nose. Hold it momentarily. And then let it go. Feel the rush of the oxygen rich blood going into your head, into your brain, to all the blood vessels. Relax the shoulders. If you need to, close your eyes and really ask yourself, is this worth it? Is this something that I need? Is this helping me? And more importantly, is this helping us, we, the general collective? And I don't just mean human beings or people or certain sections of society. I'm talking about all things, all things living plants, animals, human beings, the planet that we live on. I just I just did a big move, which is why I was absent from videos last week. After the beach, I came back and moved out of one house and into a very uh, much smaller space, right? So I downsized by about a fourth of the space that I was current, uh, previously living in. And, um, you know, a lot of stuff had to be put to waste, trashed, right? 
and I tried to sell and give away and recycle as much as I could, but there was still a lot of waste that was produced during this move. And, you know, a big part of me was upset and um, rattled by that, mentally rattled. It, 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 it brought me a certain amount of emotional uh, distress and pain. So much so that I spent a few nights where I was unable to sleep. But you know what? I'm not going to go there. We're sticking to the ego part of this whole thing. So to wrap this up, the breathing technique that I had shared uh, just a little bit ago, and just really decide, do you really need all of these things in life? And it was a big eye-opening opportunity for me to go through all this stuff, which I had been doing throughout the house for the past year. But it was really, it was, you know, uh, crunch time. It was of the most, uh, it was of the utmost importance and urgency that I went through my stuff and decided, do I really need this? Because I'm moving into a much smaller space. It was humbling. It leveled my ego, right? Not, not crush leveled, but leveled my ego, right? Keeping at a uh, relatively baseline status. And often I had to ask myself, do I really need this? And we'll decide what I do with my bike. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna keep it. I don't need to have the newest and greatest thing. Would it be nice? Absolutely. Would it make the trails more fun? More than likely. But do I really need to get a new bike right now? There's a lot of stuff that I want to do and don't worry, you guys are gonna be, if you'd like to, I'm gonna keep you guys in the loop and of what's going on in really the upcoming year, okay? I did a lot of blabbering, but hey, that's what Thoughtful Thursdays are about. It's about me just kind of expressing my thoughts. If you have any questions, any comments, anything you want to add at all, ask me a question. Tell me what's going on in your life. I'll make a video about it comment section down below after all the recommended videos I think um, comment section or check out in my description you just press that little triangle pointing down and then a drop down menu will appear and you'll see the different social media outlets that I use Facebook Instagram Twitter uh, you're on YouTube that's, that's it I have a Pinterest account but that's just to um, display the stuff that I'm working on, reading, recommending, eating, right? And that's it. Um, again, I'm an open book. Ask me anything. I would love to help you out. Until next time, keep going and keep growing mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually stronger. Peace.